Greetings, this is Gindian, and today we have a mission. We're not mining, we're not killing mobs at a grinder, we're not getting experience points on purpose. Today we're going to find my kingdom, but first we have to sleep so that it's daytime. <laughs> Greetings, this is Gintian. We are starting off today at my house at Spawn on the Kingdom's Chronicle server. I want to help you master Minecraft so you can enjoy watching and playing Minecraft anywhere. If this is your first time on my channel and you want to get the most out of your Minecraft experience, make sure to hit the subscribe button and click on the bell so you know when I produce videos. First, let's talk about the plan and the goal for this episode. Here we see the map of our Minecraft world. First thing you notice is we have a new person that is actually a returning member to this group from the past. I don't know them, but as with everyone here, I am looking forward to playing Minecraft with them. Their kingdom is located here. Second, let's talk about spawn and where the spawn houses are located in the spawn area here at the dot to the south there is a river that is actually the border between spawn area and the kingdoms this is also the river that is closest to my house at spawn the plan is to take a boat out to sea along the river travel along the coast all the way up to the north of my kingdom then once i hit land I will head towards the location of the village that I will make the capital of my kingdom. And the Ginthian Empire will be born. It's morning and I'm ready to start this journey to find my kingdom. Let's make it happen. Of course, let's start by going in the correct direction and work diligently to not get lost or off course again. Okay, let's try this again. You know, I think I'm gonna rename the house at spawn. I'm gonna start referring to it as my embassy. That makes more sense, doesn't it? Since we're kingdoms. Now we'll see how often I forget it. Say goodbye to spawn. You know, I put my diamond pick and shovel into the ender chest so that I wouldn't lose them if I die. Is that a turtle? I haven't seen a turtle yet. Can you believe it? That's my first turtle. Not my first hurdle. Sorry, bad rhyme. And it looks like we've moved from the river to the ocean. And I'm going to continue along this path that I've laid out and get back to you after we're a little further along. Welcome back. We are rowing along here and it's starting to get close to sunset. And what is that? Looks like a temporary bridge made out of dirt. Let's take a look on the map to see what we're dealing with. I want to show you exactly where we are. Here is a smaller version of the map, and this right here are the islands that are my kingdom, marked with my banner. And you can see this little X is where we are currently located. I'm going to get back to rowing and go around following the land. It is definitely dark out now, but I will get back to you in a little bit. Okay, we're back and I have to show you this. That's a dolphin. Dolphin is a new mob in the aquatic version. It was introduced in 
1.13 and it is one of the new amazing creatures that that are in the ocean it's a passive mob although if you attack it it will attack you back so they're supposed to play with objects that float there it was again see it jumping but I'm going to continue on this journey see you in a minute okay we are back again and I want you to hear something freeze that now you can see as we zoom in a little bit that is a new Bob it is hard to make out but it is a drowned which is essentially a zombie that is drowned here's a better picture I'm going to hightail it out of here because I don't want to be attacked. And I will check in with you in a moment. Greetings, we're back. And behind me is something I did not expect to see. They are icebergs. Also, just to note, the previous mob, the Drowned, it's a new mob to me, not a new mob to 1.14. It actually came out as part of 1.13, just like the icebergs behind me and the dolphins we saw earlier. And the turtles. Anyway, I believe I have gone farther north than I anticipated because I didn't think about running into icebergs. But it's kind of cool that this is right next to my kingdom. I'm going to head in to land and start progressing further. Off to the left you see sunrise and there's a skeleton standing there. Uh, let me see if I can get past him. It would be an awesome picture if I could zoom in on it. You know, sunrise with a skeleton. Ouch! That hurt. And now he, he's burning, but then he got in the water. So I'm not going anywhere near him because he's not burning now. And I can't afford to get shot too many more times. Of course, I have a shield that I didn't use. How's that? Brilliant. Turtles are always cool, no matter how many times I see them. We're back on land. And what is the turtle doing? <laughs> he went into the boat. Well, I'm going to leave him there. I don't think he'll despawn. I'm going to leave him there for now. And head inland. I hear cows. Lots of cows. Let's go ahead and collect some beef. I'm going to get this last cow and then I'm moving on. I will check in with you in a minute. Welcome back. I like this view. Ow, but let's not kill ourselves falling down. Okay, I need to get my shovel so that I can collect some gravel and sand to make concrete, which is something I will need a lot of. So I'm going to do that and then check in with you later. Okay, now that that is done, I need to put a chest down and put some of this stuff in my inventory into it. And I'm going to need this bed. And have you noticed how dark it's getting? I need to put up a house or a box pretty quickly around me to protect me from the mobs. Of course, then I can sleep and make it daylight again. 
Let's get these logs converted into planks and then get to work on building the box. I call it the box because in all honesty, it's a box to protect me from the mobs and not meant to look pretty. Be right back. I left a hole in the ceiling so I can see whether it's nighttime and now I want to go to sleep. And it's daytime, so let's work on making this box something a little more useful. I won't say pretty, just more useful. I think I'm going to work all day on improving this house. Box. We are back, and another night came, and I slept through the night, and now it's morning. I was going to show you the work I did on the hut or the box, whatever you want to call it. But then I headed towards the village and discovered this. Look how close I am, or was, last night to the village. That's just ridiculous. So rather than show you that 10 minutes, I just figured I'd move on and we'll go into the village and take a look. Okay, we're almost inside the village and I wanna look into this building here. One of the differences between the previous version of Minecraft and this one is there are beds in every building, maybe just most buildings, because the villagers actually sleep at night. And for that, they seek out a bed each evening right before sundown. That's a nice sword for seven emeralds. It's made out of iron, but this is a weaponsmith. More specifically, a savanna weaponsmith. Interesting, why are his arms not the same color? If the villager looks like the villagers from 1.13, then it is an unemployed villager and you can't trade with him. He actually shakes his head. I'm going to look around and I'll get back with you. Let's go over here and look in this house and see what we can find. Jackpot. This is really good. Let me gather all this up and move on. Now that's done, let's keep looking. Okay, what we have here is a farmer. But I can't tell which kind of farmer he is. And by that I mean, is he a Topeka farmer or a Savannah farmer? The biome is showing as Savannah. This larger house looks like it could be acceptable for the king uh, to hang out in for a while. It's certainly larger than the other houses, and it has two beds, so let's go for that. And so, what do we have over here? They appear to be leather workers. One's a novice. Interesting. That definitely need these in the village. Let's trade with him. And I got an advancement. What a deal. Cool. I wonder if there's a bed in this building. Well, it doesn't look like it. I think I will add one later. Let's check out this house. And I immediately can see why we need addresses on our houses so I can tell them apart. More goodies. That is really what I was hoping would be in this chest.
let's go look around some more. This villager has already gone to sleep. And this villager has also gone to sleep. Let's look in here. Wow, even more goodies. Let me grab these. If anyone knows what that noise is, leave a comment, because I have no idea. Wow, it's getting dark out here. I think I need to go find my house and go to bed. Oh, there's a farmer in bed there. Now we sleep. And it's morning. Good morning, farmer. I found some chickens and I want to take them home. Now with these seeds, I can make them follow me. This might take a while. And that's where we're headed. This house just officially became the chicken coop. Okay, it's the next game day, and I hear some suspicious noises outside. Actually, when I was playing this, I didn't notice the sounds of the pillagers. I was unaware, and I noticed it in editing. Keep watching while I catch a clue. And I was shot. Okay, shut the door. But I can't stay in here. I have to go out and face them. I need to kill them. I've been shot twice. I need to eat some to heal. I can see him walking by in the window. So let's go out there and see if I can kill them. Why on earth am I not using the shield? I gotta get it out of my inventory and put it in the right place. Okay, this is working better. Now I just gotta finish these guys off without dying, of course. Got him! Can you see the iron golem fighting the pillagers? Let's look closer. Thank you, iron golem, for defending the village. You are definitely useful to have around. Welcome back. And we are still in the village, which I am going to make my capital. As I said before, this should be awesome. I also, oh look, it's the traveling trader. That's what he's called. And it's a new feature in version 1.14. In my next episode, we will work on building up this village. For now, thank you for watching and goodbye.